All right. So we're starting now because all our neighbors matter. It's our little spiel or also hunger health housing. That's our motto and what our services aim to address. Um, one of the main services that we're notorious for offering is food pantry. Um, our agency has been in existence since 1969 and they pretty much started solely as a food pantry and as um, the participants of the pantry kind of share more issues they were having in their home, like issues paying mortgage or rent or utilities, the programs just kind of expanded from there. So primarily we offer pantry. Our main pantry location is located at our main office in Chicago Heights, Illinois, uh, 1439 Emerald Avenue. Our pantry is open Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Um, and I try to type out all the cities and suburbs that we serve. We serve about 22 different cities and suburbs. If you do not see your city or suburb listed, um, unfortunately, we can only service you or provide food to you one time only. And usually, um, if you come, like, say you stay in Phoenix, Illinois, or Harvey, and you came to the pantry, we can give you food and we usually send you away with like a list of, of pantries that service your specific zip code. Um, if you're in need of any pantries, a really good resource is you can just Google Chicago Food Depository. And when you go to the website, you can just click the link that says find food um, and find pantries that way as well. Um, to access our pantry, we do just ask that you present your ID. Um, to show proof that you're in our service area or a current piece of mail. We know that there are sometimes people don't have the time or the money yet to update their ID if there's an old address on it. Um, and in just a COVID update, um, due to COVID, the pantry is operating outside, curbside in the back of the building. So, um, and also, like before COVID, we were notorious for offering like a client choice menu where the guests would meet with a counselor. They can go over starch options, dairy options, cereal options and pick what they want. And their order would be custom made to what they picked. Of course, we're not able to do that due to COVID. So now everything is just pre-bagged. Um, we've not been giving out any fresh produce, no fresh, fresh, fresh veggies or fruit due to COVID, we don't want to have to touch people's, you know, food that's exposed. So everything is covered and sealed. We do give out meat, chicken, pork, anything you can imagine. Um, so, yeah. We also have a satellite pantry. Um, this pantry specifically serves and targets Sauk Village and Linwood residents only. Um, the location of this pantry is the best landmark is it's directly behind the Sauk Village Police Station. Um, my executive director wanted to set up a satellite pantry in this area because the area just is really difficult for customers who don't have a vehicle. Um, it's kind of isolated transportation wise and he just thought that would be a good location to accommodate people who may be traveling on foot or things of that nature. So the satellite pantry, again, only for Sauk Village Linwood residents, is open Tuesdays only from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's the same rules, so to speak. You have to present ID or current piece of uh, mail, and it is also operating curbside only. Um, one other thing we do at both pantry sites, we offer like a proxy system. So if you have um, a neighbor or a loved one who's elderly or maybe they're not mobile and they they need food, you're able to, or if you need someone to pick up food for you and you're not mobile, if you feel comfortable, you can give that individual your ID. Um, they sign a proxy form and you can get food that way if you're not physically able to come into the office. Um, we offer prescription assistance. Um, so it, it is limited one-time assistance. Um, I believe the cap of the assistance is like up to $300. Um, and I believe we can only provide the prescription assistance 
since once every six months, but sometimes there sometimes more frequently depending on the ailment. But of course, we try to disperse the funds to as many households that need it as possible. Um, how this process looks, unfortunately, the only pharmacy that works with us is Jewel Osco Pharmacy, um, and more specifically, the Jewel Osco in South Chicago Heights. So if you need assistance with covering your prescription costs, we would ask that you, um, if your prescription is currently with like Walmart or CVS or Walgreens, we ask that you would make a temporary transfer to Jewel Osco in South Chicago Heights that you obtain a printout from Joe Osco that would list the name of your medication and the price. And then you would just, you may, you probably won't bring it um, if you have the ability to take a picture of it or fax it or scan it to one of the case managers email, they can have that. And then they'll just load up a card with the amount that's needed to cover your prescription. And it will probably just give you the card at the door. Um, and then you, that's how the process works. Again, if you're interested in that or in need of that, my email will be available on the last slide. You can just shoot me an email and I can get back to you next week. Housing. Um, so the first part of our housing services that I'm going to discuss is more focused on home ownership. So we do have HUD certified housing counselors. Um, their focus primarily is foreclosure prevention and then um, pre-purchase or financial literacy or uh, just equipping the home buyer on what to expect the process, getting them prepared to be a homeowner. Um, the services are available in both English and Spanish. Um, yeah, so I, I know that my coworker is always eager to have people join her pre-purchase workshops. I don't think she gets enough Participant. So again, if you're interested in that, let me know. Other housing supports. So another other programs that the agency 